there guys what is up and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be short and sweet um basically we're going to disney world soon and i really wanted to show you guys some stuff that maybe you might want to bring if you're thinking about vlogging your trip this video is specifically going to be centered around gopros and gopro accessories Obviously, if you're going to be vlogging a trip, you need some sort of vlogging camera, i.e. a actual camera like I'm filming on now or your phone. A lot of phones are really, really good quality nowadays and do perfectly fine. Um, I vlog on mine all the time, especially if my camera battery dies uh, and I don't have a way to charge it or replace the battery right then. But we're going to be talking about GoPros and GoPro accessories and stuff that you should definitely bring if you are filming at a theme park of any sort. This doesn't just go for Disney World. Um, this is going to be any theme park. First of all, you want to look at the rules of where you're filming at. Disney does not allow monopods or selfie sticks um, or any like extendable tripod that you could put a camera on. I know I've seen people bring monopods to Disney World, so uh, it really probably just depends on security, but I have definitely seen people do it before, so um, just a heads up if you decide to bring yours. You may or may not be able to bring it in. They might confiscate it. They might not, so that's just the whole little gray area that we're not going to get into but right now we're going to talk about the gopro so let's switch over okay so i have like my nifty little handy case of crap and accessories for this thing but uh the gopro i'm using is the hero 7 white uh it was the cheapest one i know a lot of people use the black and everything but this one honestly um it's really good for the price that it was, it was a really good camera. I've used it a few times. It works well underwater. I mean, it still works fine and everything. And the number one recommended thing that I would say is definitely bring the case to put it in. You can't put it on anything, if you haven't noticed, without this thing. So I have the screw-in piece on it right now so I can put it on my little handheld tripod and let me show you guys this tripod actually I have it on my camera but I'll take it off so when I'm filming I like to film with one of these it is a photo pro UFO I don't remember what the brand is but it's really sturdy and it's really bendy like you can bend this thing into any position I use it all the time when I'm filming I just feel like it's more comfortable um, to hold in your hand if you're filming and if you need a true little tripod right there you got one so Basically, I put my GoPro in this thing and I screw it on here and this is a good one also if you're a mom and you have a stroller because this thing, the little legs on this will literally just wrap around the handle of your stroller and I will hold it like this to film if I'm just filming out in the open. But since we're going to Disney World and since you are going to a theme park, which I'm assuming is why you're watching this, there's some other stuff that you might want to have. And that is some stuff to secure this GoPro to your body um, while you're on rides because that's why we go to theme parks, right? To ride rides. So here's a few things. Um, if you're brave enough to wear them or if the theme park you're going to allows these things, definitely bring them. The number one thing I say to bring because I haven't seen anywhere that doesn't allow them is a wrist strap. Just strap your GoPro onto this while you're on a ride. Um, just hold your arm out really. But this is probably the best thing. It's super secure. I got all of these things on Amazon. It came as a set. It's from the brand Newer, which is also the brand that makes like ring lights and stuff. And I'll link that in the description below if you guys actually want to get this set. It was so, so cheap. I want to say it was like $28 when I bought it, but I think it was on sale. Um, but I'll link it in the description in case you guys want to get one. This hand strap definitely, definitely comes in handy. Um... If you're going to the water parks, if you're like in the wave pool or anything, you might want one of these. It's like a monopod, like a little handheld tripod thing. It's really comfy to hold in your hand. Also, it floats in water. So if you're going to a pool or a water park or the beach or anything, this little buoy guy, uh, he floats. So definitely really good to have if you don't want your GoPro to sink in the water the next thing I have here is a head strap. If you're brave enough to wear one of these, I am not, but my husband is. Um, you can use this on roller coasters or on water slides or anything like that. Like I said, check the rules of the place you're going beforehand so you know if these things, these next two things are actually even allowed. But the head strap's definitely a good one. Hands-free. Um, it's pretty secure on your head. It's got a little grip in it. It's pretty secure. It probably won't fly off your head on a roller coaster or a water ride or anything like that. Um, like I said, if you're brave enough to strap a camera to your head, then by all means do it. 
The next thing I have is this chest strap. This one, I probably say would be the most secure, probably the most easy if you're on a roller coaster so you don't have to hold your arms out with your GoPro. Totally hands-free and you should be able to see everything. I'm going to check Disney's rules because I actually don't know if Disney um, allows these. I haven't seen anybody say that they don't, but if they do, I will probably wear one of these and strap my GoPro to it on roller coasters because it sits right in the middle of your chest. Actually, I'm going to put this on for you guys. Hold on just a second. Ugh. Okay, so I know this probably looks so dumb on me, but it kind of like feels like a baby carrier. Um, but anyways, if you're really serious about getting some footage, one of these, it literally just straps to the middle of your chest and you can you can probably move it up. It might be better to move it up here so that people aren't like staring at your boobs, but you know, whatever. If you're a lady, if you're a guy, it really probably won't matter, but I'm a girl, so I guess I don't really care what it look like. If you're really serious about getting some footage, you can put your GoPro on this thing, angle it anywhere you want. You can put it anywhere on your body that you want. Um, and it's a super cool hands-free way to just kind of uh, be able to film on rides because the GoPro will sit like right here. So you can be able to get some good hands-free footage. I know I probably look like an idiot, but you know what? It's okay, it's okay. We do what we do. We do it for the vlog, you guys. We do it for the vlog. I figured since I demonstrated the chest strap, I may as well demonstrate the head strap while he's at it. I know like, it looks so dumb with this on my head, but if you really want to get like a good shot, this is a way to do it. Like you can literally just walk around with GoPro on your head. Like, hey, what's up? Hey, cool. I'm just filming everything I see. Got me a GoPro on my forehead. It'll see everything that you see and you don't even have to use your hands. Like, how cool is that? Definitely something to look at if you're considering filming. I know it might be better to wear like on top of a hat or something. I don't know. I don't think I can pull off the, the whole head strap thing. But you know what? You might be able to. But if you're bald, um, maybe wear a hat because it's going to give you some really weird tan lines if you <laughs> wear that on your head in the sun in Florida. But you guys, that's all that I have for you in this video. I do hope that it helped a little bit if you are looking to do some vlogging at the parks and you're bringing your GoPro along. Um, I'm still learning how to use mine. I just got it not too long ago. I think it was like last year for Christmas. But um, the accessories are really cool. They're really fun. Make sure you check the rules of where you're going beforehand. Um, you don't want to get anything confiscated by security. Other than that, there's like a billion GoPro accessories out there. But if you like the one that I got, it came with like 50 or 60 accessories, like screws and everything that you would need for the GoPro. And like I said, it was like 20 something dollars when I bought it and it came with a ton of stuff. Plus that carrying case. I will link that in the description below if you're looking for one of your own. But that's all I have for you guys today. My name's Kayla. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button right down below. And you guys, don't ever stop living your adventure. And I'll see you next time. Bye.